So this is factoring a trinomial uh, when a, or actually that's a little confusing because a is a variable, but when the, uh, the leading term coefficient is not 1, it's 6 in this case. So we need a longer method. Uh, and this method works by taking the middle term and breaking it up in two pieces so that we can factor by grouping. Uh, so let's work on trying to break up this, this middle piece. The way you do that is uh, you multiply the first and the last numbers. And I get 96. And after you multiply the first and the last numbers, you ask yourself, what two numbers would multiply to be 96, but add it to be negative 50? And if you have trouble uh, trying to find those numbers, just pull out a calculator and start start trying out some numbers. You know, 96 divisible by 2. See, what, see if those two numbers could add up to be 50. Or do 96 divided by 3. And see if, the, see if whatever that number in your calculator times 3, uh, that will make 96. But see if those add up to be 50. Or maybe try dividing it by 4 or by 6 or by whatever number you want to see if those, those come out evenly. Uh, in this case, the pair we need is, uh, and the signs are important here, negative 2 and negative 48. And I pulled out negatives because I knew my two numbers had to add up to be a negative number. And they also had to multiply to be a positive number. A negative times a negative gives us a positive. And negative plus a negative gives us a negative. So this is my pair. They multiply to be that, uh, that product number, the 96, and they add up to be this middle number. So what you do once you find the pair is replace this middle term with that pair like this. Now it's still the same expression we started with, uh, just the middle term has been replaced. The whole reason we did this uh, replacement is so that now if you factor by grouping, it'll be, uh, you'll be done. You'll have your original expression completely factored. So I put two blue parentheses around my two groups because I'm going to factor them. Um, now this first group I can factor out a 2 uh, from both the numbers. Both these are divisible by 2. And I can factor out an a from both those terms. So what's left over is 3a minus b in that parentheses. And I'll do the same thing over here. Uh, a good rule of thumb is to try to keep the first number in your parentheses positive because the goal is to make a match up. But try to stick to that. I got, I got a positive number here. I'm going to make this positive by, I'm going to divide out uh, negative 16. Oops. And what's left over is uh, a positive 3. Oh, and I'm going to take out a b from this as well. Because both these terms have a b in them. At least b to the first. So I took out b to the first for everything. And what's left over is uh, 3a. And now negative, uh, 16 divided by negative 16 is a negative 1. Uh, so that's what it looks like when you divide out negative 16 from everything. And you can see why we made sure we made this number be a positive, because now we have two parentheses that exactly match, which is the goal of factoring by grouping. Uh, your last step is to factor out that parentheses that matches, and then make a new parentheses with the stuff that's on the outside. And now, if you multiply this parentheses to itself, it turns into what you started with, 6a squared minus 58b plus 16b squared.